Hey, how you doing? Dennis here, and today we're going to be making a donut chart component that's easy to modify and can represent real data. Let's get started. So let's start with the frame tool. Draw a frame at 302. Let's name that frame chart. Now let's draw a circle. Let's make that circle 300 and let's rotate it 90 degrees. Figma puts the arc handle at the 3 o'clock position of the circle, but pie and donut charts typically start at the 12 o'clock position. So we take the circle and rotate it 90 degrees so it moves the arc handle up to the 12 o'clock position so from zero we can type our percent into the sweep field. So whatever our value is, 25, 60, 75, we can control it from here. Let's place the circle inside of our frame. Let's put it at 1 and 301. Let's pull the sweep and drag out our ratio. Let's set those values to 100 and 50. Now let's give it a border. 2. Let's make it centered and fill it white. Let's grab our frame and let's remove the fill. Select your donut, duplicate, let's pull the sweep out a bit, let's choose a new color from our accessible color palette, pull this around, let's go ahead and give it a value of 10%, select it, duplicate it again, drag your duplicate over, change its color, and let's do that four more times. Select all of the segments. Command R to rename them. Let's call them data point and number them. Let's call our background donut base. Now let's select all of these. Let's make them all 5%. And let's pull them all out of the way over to the left. Select the text tool, type in 100. I'm using Roboto Slab Bold 48 point. Let's create a color style. In the fill palette, click this plus sign, select style, then give it a name, text color. This will make changing that color much easier later. Select the text tool again, type in the percent sign, let's fill it with our text color, reduce it to 30, wrap it in an auto layout, set its padding to 0, and set the top padding to 0 and the bottom to 12. Select all, auto layout again, set the space between to 0, align it in the center. Let's put 10 pixels of padding on the left and four on the bottom. Let's set its width to 146 and let's call this center number. Place that center number in the center of our donut chart. For the legend, let's start with the rectangle tool. Let's do 24 by 24. Let's rename that swatch. Select the text tool. Let's give it a percent and a label. I'm using Roboto Flex, regular 24. Select all. Wrap it in an auto layout. Let's do 10 between. Center left. Let's give that swatch a color. Let's color the text our text color. Duplicate that five times. Select all. Let's rename them, data point, and number them. And let's update all the swatch colors. Now select all. 
wrap those in an auto layout. Let's do 20 between and let's name this legend. Add the legend to our chart, select all, apply auto layout, 40 between, middle left. Let's create a component and call it donut chart. Now we can set up component properties. Double click to select the center number. Select the properties icon. We don't need the word shell. Select 100 and set the text property to center value. Now select the legend, hit the properties icon, create a new property. Again, we don't need the word shell. Select the data point from the legend and from the donut chart. Select the properties icon, create a property, and let's call that data point one. Now select the text, create a text property, let's call that value one. Select the next item in the legend and the corresponding element in the chart, create a property, call it data point two, select the text, create a text property, value two. Repeat that process for the rest. Now let's drag out an instance of our component and look at all the controls we have over here on the right. We can toggle the center number on and off. We can toggle the legend on and off. We can toggle individual data points. And we can input their labels. Let's do that right now. All the slices of a pie or donut chart add up to 100% and a circle is 360 degrees all the way around. This means that the sum of the previous sweeps times 3.6 will be the starting position of the next segment in the chart. So in this example, my first segment is 20%, I'm setting my second segment to be 10%, my third segment's starting position will be 20 plus 10, which is 30 times 3.6, which is 108 degrees. If I set the third segment to be 30%, the sum of all the previous segments is 60 times 3.6 to place my fourth segment, and so on. Now let's use this equation to set all the values in our chart. Note that you do not have to do this math in your head. You can do simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division right inside the control fields and they'll perform the calculations for you. Let's create a card design. Select the text tool, give your chart a title, I'm using Roboto Slab Bold 36. Fill the header with our text color style. Select all. Apply an auto layout. Space between at 40. Align top left. Let's give it some padding. 50 left and right, 40 top and bottom, and give it a fill. Let's round the corners to 30. Now let's select our text color style and let's change it from white to black. Select the chart, duplicate. Let's turn on the center number and turn off the legend. Make the center value 35 and turn all the data points off except for data point one. Let's scale the chart down 50% and duplicate it once more. Select the two smaller charts wrap them in an auto layout, set the space between to 10, and change it to horizontal layout. Now duplicate two more, swap data point one and data point two, and change the center value to 16. Select the chart segment, 
change the segment starting point to zero and change the values of the third and fourth one. Now I'll duplicate this entire card and demonstrate how easy it is to update all of the data. Let's build some bonus features into our component. First, select your center number, set the constraints to center. Now we're gonna duplicate it. Rename your duplicate, center text. And now disconnect it from our properties that we set for our number. To make things easier, let's hide the center number for now. I should have named this layer, but delete frame one, which is our percent. Let's remove the left padding and let's change 100 to the word text. Now let's create a property on this center text layer. We don't need the word show. Select the text. Let's give it a text property center text value. Now let's take a look at the properties of our component. Let's take the center text and center text value and put it under the center number. And now let's set the defaults. Let's set the text to false and the number to true. Select the center number layer, hold the shift key down, and select all of your donut pieces. And let's set those constraints to scale. Now our chart can be flexible with the number always being centered. Going back to our music card, let's turn on the center text, give it a value of music. Let's set it to fill container. Let's also set the donut itself to fill container and now it will stretch with the size of the card. Let's set the small donuts to fill container, center them. Let's increase the space between them to 30. Now we have a stretched, more stylized donut chart with all of the same controls as it had before. Also note that you do not have to use the component controls to the right. You can also modify the content right on the layout. Here's a few other customizations. I detach the component. I'm selecting certain segments. I'm scaling them up. Add a drop shadow. Turn clip content off so they can break outside of the frame. And slightly adjust the size of the wedges. Experiment with it and try new things out. That wraps it up for this one. I hope you came away with something new. I'll see you for more lessons real soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.